Hello YouTube, welcome back to Case Technologies. In today's video, I'm going to do a Pi YAML tutorial for you. And if you already don't have it installed, go ahead and install it. I'm already using my virtual environment I set up over here. So if you need to do that, just do virtual env. And then you can say my YAML environment and run it. And then after that's set up, you just need to do dot my YAML then activate and hit enter and I'll bring you into your virtual environment and then you just need to do pip install pi YAML and just hit enter I already have it installed so it's fine I'm just going to hit clear and I'm going to come up here and say import I've created also a file called myyaml.py and I'm going to import yeah. All right. And then I'm also going to create a new file, a YAML file, and I'm going to call it um, let's see. right there. I'm going to say file save as um. I'll say company dot yum. Maybe put company info in there. Then you're gonna do three dashes. And then we're gonna say um HQ um Alright. So once you have the HQ, we're gonna say Washington DC. We're gonna say HR, oops, HR department. Let's do a return and we're gonna say tab. We're gonna say um, what do they do? Hiring, hiring, payroll, benefits. Billing accounts receivable, and then we're going to do IT and say security uh, help desk. Development, and we're just gonna save it right there. We're gonna hop back over here, and we're gonna say data equals file or let's say YAML file equals open open file. It's going to have to be open. Say open. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm going to read. Then I'm going to say yellow.load yellow file. Then we're going to store that as data. That data or print that data out. Let's say Python my I'm sorry, L. Yeah. Import loader and we're going to say loader equals loader and 
and voila there we go right there we have a nice little object we can work with and if we want to just print out the headquarters we would have to do this right, HQ and run it again and that would give us Washington DC if we want but we want to make something a little better than that so let's go ahead and take the time to set that up okay we're gonna say the company or our companies no uh, we're gonna say HQ or no, our HQ building is located in we want to make an F string so we can just go ahead and edit that and HQ All right and then we're going to say prompt um, another F string both at all um what is that one? Um our HR department. Oops, I see what my editing problems I need to do. Close quotes. Our HR department handles I'm gonna do this data nice you HR zero because it's a list All right and then we can just repeat this same as thing until we go through the entire list so we want to get hiring payroll and benefits out of it okay so new comma um, and whatever the last one is. So we're gonna say zero, one, and two. So that's what the HR team does. They handle all of that. And I don't like this, how long it is. I just wanna, wanna tab it. And, gonna, and right there we go. We can go into two lines. That should work there. And then uh, say our company specializes in and we're gonna use all of the IT stuff, so IT oh, data actually just paste and we want to say data is IT. Same thing, right? Zero, one, two, three. I want to say, let's see, and we'll say comma, boom. And we're going to do a new line. And again. So zero, one, and two. Zero, one, and two. All right, so we should be good there. Let's check it over. Import YAML from YAML import loader. We have the company.yaml file, data. And we have all our information here. So we can go ahead and I'm gonna hit this button so we can have more real estate for our terminal. And I'm just gonna clear it. And we're gonna run it right now and voila there we go our HQ building is located in Washington DC our HR department handles hiring payroll and benefits our company specializes in security help desk and software development and we see the new line that gave us too much of a space so we're gonna have to go over this, um, back up I'm going to bring it back onto one line. All right. And then we're going to print.
print it out again. We're gonna get that data back again. And voila, now it's nice and neat. And that's how you can leverage a YAML file and use it with any of your personal data information or anything like that you set up. All right. So this is our file again. And this is our Python file. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll add this to uh, my GitHub in the comments.